All right, so in this video, I have a new pair of custom sneakers that I had made for me from my buddy, but it is a little bit of a controversial uh, unboxing. So let's go ahead and get into this video. What is going on guys, Hess here from CollectiveKicks.com. If you guys wanna shop this week's top sneaker deals, check the link in the description. Uh, today's video, I have an unboxing from a buddy of mine named Cam. I will link his uh, Instagram in the description. He uh, does a lot of these random customs like this. Uh, he's been doing this for a little while now, but it's something that has surfaced quite a bit on the internet, um, and it's from somebody else and not his account. So interestingly enough, it seems to be that somebody's a copycat. We don't know necessarily who, but um, but it is what it is. Like Believe what you want to believe out there. This is a pair that I have my buddy do because uh, he is the one that I first saw this from. So let's go ahead and show you guys a couple other things first. He also created a couple of different random uh, box logos for myself and uh, some blazer box logos. He got a white t-shirt. I don't know if Cam's actually selling these or not. You guys can hit him up on Instagram if you guys are interested. And then there's also a, uh, a, a hoodie with that Blazers logo too. So pretty cool. i uh, got to kick him some change for making these for me. So it was one of those things where he had one that he just messed around with at his friend's house, he said, and he just created it for fun. And I saw him wearing it at um, Index PDX. And I was like, dude, I need those shirts. Those are so rad. And so he ended up making me a couple of them uh, on the fly. So appreciate you, Cam, for doing this. And I appreciate you for doing this. So without further ado, let's go ahead and show you guys what he ended up creating for myself. Um, you can get a, kind of an idea from the box, the way it's laid out. And here we have the Nike Dunk Luxes that I ended up having in my collection. And um, I need to pull the other one out. So you guys remember a long time ago, I talked about this Nike Dunk Lux shoe and how I really loved this, this model. It's super heavy duty. It was $150 retail for this Nike Dunk Lux. And I have the all black colorway and then I also have uh, the white colorway. I didn't like the white one as much uh, because the leather quality wasn't as good. It's still super, super nice and uh, really, really definitely a luxury type of dunk. But I thought that this was just the perfect treatment for it. What we do here is go back, 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 back. I saw Cam doing these kind of customs a long time ago. I saw him um, wearing them and, and I was like, dude, these are crazy. Like he had the Air Force One done originally. He had like a, a couple other random ones that he did just in little baby shoes. And he said he started customizing these last year in just baby shoes, but he never actually showed any of the work on social media. And he's kind of like a shyer individual if you've ever met him anyway. So the fact that he'd never actually shared some of the stuff, I totally believe. Uh, he's not the type of person that really just toots his own horn or whatever. Like, he's real, real humble. So the internet's kind of exploded a little bit because there's a dude named Josh that actually has been posting a lot of work of him doing a lot of these as well. And I don't know who came first. Honestly, if you look back at their Instagram histories, you can see that Josh posted this first image of these first in, I think, May. And Cam's started in, I think, August. There's a difference in a handful of months there of who posted what first. But... Like I said, I believe Cam, I don't think that he would be biting somebody else. It's not really his style, but it's also not his style to just jump out there and show the world what he's created. He's just, I, again, I've known this dude for years, like literally years, and I didn't even know he was a creator. So uh, I thought it was really cool when I saw him actually wearing a pair and then found out that he actually ended up um, customizing them himself. So I gave him this pair uh, and had him customize these for me. And I think he just did a killer job on these and um, they just turned out awesome. So. This is a look at my Nike Dunk Lux, and you could see he did a uh, an awesome job, and the laces are real cool looking. 
but it has like that crazy little little piping look to them which i did want to point out i do have these stewie dunks and they do have some piping around the shoe as well in black and that was done by my buddy uh, max lund so max lund was actually the first one that i've seen create a silhouette with that like black piping first and this happened years ago so this is just to my point of uh, max actually started that in some capacity with this shoe right here that I ended up getting from Max as a gift a long time ago. Shout out to Max Lund for uh, helping me out and getting me this pair. He did such a dope job on this Stewie Dunk. It was so crazy. But I'm just pointing out that like inspiration draws inspiration draws inspiration. And there might be inspirations drawn in parallel and they don't even know that they actually coexist. And that's my point about this. Like this could be controversial. Somebody can call him a biter because he didn't have his published work out there before uh, the other guy did. But who's to say that they both just didn't come up with the awesome idea on their own parallels and then now the internet has now seen both of them and they look exactly the same because really like what else are you going to do with this? The concept of the sketch of the shoe is really what Cam was going for and that definitely is embodied in the shoe. When you sketch something you use every single piping of every single line in detail which is exactly what he did. It's the same thing that the other guy Josh is doing. So. Really like, of course, if, if one is going to look like the other one, it's going to look like the other one because they're using the same exact concept to fulfill the entire silhouette of the shoe. So that's just kind of my, my two cents. I mean, I don't really care who came up with it first or not. Um, I tried reaching out to Josh ahead of time just to just to say, hey, I have a buddy making these customs. What's your story on these? Or what have you heard? And he never replied back to me. And so that's the way it goes. I've heard Cam's side of the story. And I know Cam said he started making these last year. So before May. Um, but, um, but it is what it is. He's just like, you know what? I don't want to fight about it. It's, it's just, it's not worth sneaker internet news to just be like trying to say, no, I did this first and he did that first. He was just really trying to squash any of the beef from the beginning because it's just not his style. Again, if you know the dude, uh, he's just super, super humble and super chill and super laid back. And that's just who he really is. Like I, I can honestly vouch for the dude and say that's exactly how Cam is. So the idea that somebody's biting off of somebody, I really don't think it's the case. I just think that the concept was a cool one. Two people thought of it, two people executed it, and one person um, posted it before the other one. That's that's just my personal take on the matter. Uh, but at the end of the day, I'm happy that Cam actually ended up doing this for myself. And I like this look. I like what he did with this shoe. It's such a cool concept. And it's something that, like it makes me think, outside the box. It's honestly such a simple concept of a sketch, but it looks so cool the way that you just take a white shoe and then just completely transformed it. And I have a lot of different like all white sneakers. So this is a really cool concept to be able to do. And if you guys want to leave a comment in the comment section, if you guys have the opportunity to do this to like any model out on the market, like in an all white colorway, what shoe would you guys actually choose to make this sketch custom out of? Leave a comment in the comment section. I'm curious to see what you guys end up putting in there. But I was randomly looking through my sneaker room and I was like, dude, I got to have him do these. And he knocked it out super fast. So I was really, really happy to get these from him uh, so quickly. But if you guys are interested in having one of these made, I will leave Cam's Instagram and social stuff in the description. You guys can go reach out to him and see if he has some availability to knock one of these out. And if you didn't see the box already, he did the same treatment on the box. It has that kind of blacked out look uh, of the box. Pretty cool. And you can see I ended up getting these ones from Barney's and they were $150 and he signed the box on the corner too. I actually linked up with Cam and Mikey and the other index people down at Complex Con. Uh, when I went and Cam actually ended up having a jacket that he kind of like graffitied on or whatever. Cam was just eating lunch by himself for a minute and Futuri was just chilling out there and he came up and he basically um, wanted to tag on on uh, Cam's jacket. So it was cool hearing about that story, but uh, but it's cool, man. You know, it's like something like this and the idea that you're biting off of somebody else when if you know that you're not biting, like that, that feeling sucks. So like the end of the day, as long as he can keep creating and doing what he wants to do, you know, people are going to hate and say that he's a biter and everything else. But ultimately, like he knows the way that it went down and how he started creating these. And if somebody else started doing it the same sort of thing, then so be it. But at the end of the day, like that doesn't take away from the creativity that he brought to the table when he actually started uh, creating these as well. So, but what do you guys think? Do you think some biting was at play and somebody stole somebody's inspiration off of the other person or just those two creations that had the same sort of vision that came to fruition at the same sort of time. I can totally relate to the situation because I've made videos before in the past like top five videos that were not intended to be bites off of somebody else that made another video. I know that there's a trend of it where people will literally take a title and copy it because it's trending 
and then just basically just whore it out because they know that um, they want to get their clicks for, you know, for the videos or whatever as well. I know that people do that, but I know that there's literal situations that I've been in where I've created a top five video and that was not the case. That was 100% not my intent. It wasn't an original design, an original concept for myself and somebody else uh, may have done it before me, but I didn't know because I didn't actually watch the video. I didn't see their video in my feed and nobody was like telling me about this video before I ended up posting it. It was after I posted it, then people were like, you, you stole this concept from so-and-so or whatever else it might be. It is what it is though. Sometimes people borrow inspiration from other people to create content. Sometimes you have original content and somebody else has that same original content and you both create it, not knowing that there was similarities between the two types of content. So I just wanted to throw that out there because it is very, very realistic and it does happen all the time. But that's all we have for the video. Hopefully you guys like it. This was the first dunk that I've ever seen like this. And it was Cam's first dunk that he ended up doing, but it was like the perfect one for me because I love the Nike dunk. I actually personally like the Nike dunk more than like the Air Jordan 1. This, I know it looks really, really similar, but I've always liked the dunks better than Jordan's, which is kind of funny. Um, and I like the dunks more than Air Force 1's too. So the fact when I saw that, I wanted it to be done in this manner. So super, super stoked that it ended up happening. But what do you guys think about this in general, regardless of the concept of who made what first? Do you like the whole idea of the sketch inspired customs or not? I think it's pretty cool and definitely glad that I ended up getting at least one in my collection. Definitely makes me start thinking though what else I could end up doing or just ending up coloring parts of the sketch. I mean, there's just so many options out there that you can do. But, uh, but anyway, that's the end of the video. Hopefully you guys enjoyed. Thank you guys for stopping by and watching. Give the video a nice like if you guys like the content and uh, subscribe if you're new to the channel. Notification bell if we want to be notified. And at this time, if you want to click the screen, you can see some of the other videos on my channel. And thank you again for watching. Appreciate you all for stopping in. Peace.